But a lot of people aren't putting their story in the music. They're not really doing music that is telling their story. They're just doing like sad music, like shoot them up, kill them, like, 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 you know. People, like, the people that make that shit put that shit in their music, like, I know a lot, like, I like some new music. I like all that black. I like to go that back, but I feel like it's just life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't live that life, but whatever it is, like, you know what I'm saying? He put it out there. No, whoever else, like, I feel like when you put yourself out there, and you like yourself to be vulnerable. That's not gonna be worth vulnerable. How vulnerable can I be? Right. You know, I'll be so vulnerable that I regret being that vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how music was made back in the day, and that's why it was so easy to connect with music back in the day versus. Kind of versus now because people aren't being the, their authentic selves so you can't really connect to it because you can kind of feel that it's not authentic but you know i'm not even off anybody's art because i don't do that type and i wouldn't want anybody to not 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 mine. but yeah. you know certain things i'm unable to connect with because Me too. i don't Me feel too. like That's authentically it's I don't like it just you don't, like, feel really. it. you don't feel it like you don't feel it. <laughs> and there's so much stuff out there that you gotta connect with something on a deeper level to really listen like you wanna support your friend you wanna support somebody that you might hit you like you want know my song right. like, you can like it in pictures you like how they look you, know, like, <laughs> you might have a mouth right. is that really gonna reach people reaching people is motherfucking reaching their parts of them that don't wanna fucking be reached I've tried to reach the parts of you in my music now that you ain't, you ain't even want to expose. Like, I want you to be like, man, in your head while you listen and you sing it loud. That's your favorite part, you know, deep down inside you like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I do. Like, this is new. My favorite line, my favorite song right now is uh, Tupac, uh, Chess and Me Too. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my, I've been listening to that on repeat. Like, like that's it. I can relate to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, deeper than, like, Niggas don't know that go through. People don't know that go through. But on the content, I don't relate to his personal story what he been going through. But I relate to how he say he like all the things he's trying to do and all the things like he pray for and all the things like that. I relate to that. I'm like, I feel it so much. I feel it in my heart. I'm listening. I keep running the back. They like, why you keep playing shit back and back and forth? I'm like, man, you have to listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's where I'm at right now. Well, that's my favorite artist, so I'm glad that you connected that song. Right, you my favorite artist. Oh my goodness, yay, high five to you. Yeah, well, check you out. He said he doesn't even know. But the song I mentioned, Namaste, you have a feature on there from T.I. Sun, the Monty. Yeah. How did that happen? How did that feature come about? No, I'm sorry, short. That's my little bro. Shout out to him because he's doing his thing right now. Yeah. Right around hella shows on tour, like, and I, I watch, like, I'm gonna say I watch him, like, I feel like kind of like a big brother, but, like, I watch him, like, I watch him in the studio, he freestyling songs, you know what I'm saying, like, freestyling, and he, 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 and he going, he gonna do two, three records every night, you know what I'm saying, wow. and he gonna come in with his hard drive, he gonna tell you, don't leave my vocals on the street, he gonna get all his vocals, he gonna do, <laughs> he gonna do all the things, like, I feel like, he learned from his father, you know what I'm saying, like, Come correct. And say he respects you when you come in, no matter who you are, he's not T.I. son of your mom. And I respect it about him. But how to how to break down. I just had to say that because he's like a little like he literally he gonna be somebody who like, I feel like that. Like, he he's so ahead of his time. Our engineer at the time we both had the same engineer. At that time she was an intern, uh, Eric. And right now she is in Honduras. She had never fucking left Atlanta in life. She came to stay in my house and leave for a month. Left my house, went to New York, met a girl, was talking to her at my house, met a girl in New York, stayed with her, and now she's living in Honduras. Okay. She on a whole, uh, she changing her life retreat. Like they saying, they bathing in the river, and all kinds of stuff. She changed her life. I'm like, yo, you never left Atlanta, you need to leave Atlanta and go to my house and leave there in New York and never go home again. Go to Honduras. I got, I got so love that she's gonna see this. And I love you for that. Like, you, you opened my heart, babe. Like, the world is big. And I thought I was teaching you something. You taught me something. But, um, yeah, she was an engineer. And um, she kind of just was, like, pushing me hard down there, like, in Atlanta, like, when I was fucking with Brown, so, and um, defying all the artists there that she would just play Namaste, like, the reference that we laid down in the studio. She would play it all day. And everybody kept hearing it. Because when I first came in, everybody was like, who's this weird ass dressing dude? And I couldn't get no studio time, none of that shit. 
at first, but as I as she kept playing it, everybody was like, yo, can you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is hard, man. Like, da da da. And then Damani heard it in the late night session with her. And I was like, what's that mean? You know, uh, I don't know what it means, but I like it. She just, she just let him put a verse on me. And I heard it, and I thought it was cool because it's a good perspective from the youth. I thought, like, to me, my whole idea was, wasn't that, you know, the T.I. son was like, yo, as a child, I'm talking about respecting your mother, loving your father. You wouldn't be here without me. I don't know too many kids talking like that. I said, he's not a child, but I'm saying, I don't know too many young people talking like that. And I thought that was like monumental to me. Like that touched me in my eyes. I was like, he got to say And then his mother, shout out to Sean, she was so cool. They wanted to shoot the video, we shot the video. And, you know, this whole team was really, really, really cool. So it was just like a situation like in a connection. Make it happen. That's little bro, man. My success to him. He's doing his thing. Make sure y'all got a uh, EP out. It's called Process. I'm saying the Process. But that thing is incredible. Listen to that CD. Listen to the mind. Go by it. Well, it's definitely a dope record. Make sure y'all check out the video on um, hippielife.com. Do you think because of your delivery is less brash or abrasive that you are able to pass records off like how is that person saying? Keep talking about the record, you know. Am I saying it? That's right. Or right. Witcher, um, to people who wouldn't normally listen to things like that because you don't come off like ah, ah, ah or yeah. real aggressive that I'm you're a, able to yeah, have yeah. I'm a poet, like I'm a poet person. So I feel like that's why I started that poetry. I try to make songs that I can say what I feel, but I can still, you know, put it in a way where it's not, you got to excite it in a way, or you just got to listen hard enough to listen to what I'm saying. But how to put that, do people think how to put that is a long song? That song is about respecting a girl, but making me wait. It makes me want to say, say, uh, find out how to put that because you're making me wait. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're making me, you know what I'm saying? Not about, like, I had sex with the first night. I have relationships. It ain't about that. It's about the connection that you have. You like, bro, you know, I want to connect with your mind. You know, I want to gather that, that. Whatever it is that turn me on, it might turn me on to you free. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever turn me on about you, turn me on. And in that instant, I'm talking about a girl that turned me on the way that I liked her. Because at that time, I'm like, damn, I like, she, she on some other shit. And it was new to me. You know what I'm like, damn, that's making me want to find out more. And I really like that. So the song is coming from experience. And you gotta put it away where I like to just write poetry. I'm a poet. I just do it like that. I'm a poet. I like to write like poetry. I don't like to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write, I like to do it like I'm watching something. You know what I'm saying? I write it like I'm watching something. So I can find the right words in place. Like when I'm right now, that's how I write. Like I'll give you a write like I'm just looking for beat, I'm close my eyes, I'm seeing the pictures. And then I can find words and pictures and see this. Right. I'm seeing the pictures. And now I'm seeing what the song says to me. I'm seeing like a, a script. And I can see the words with the right with the scene, the emotion of that song. From that. That's why I can't really put out the music I can't really put out the hip three hands in the sky. Because now I'm like, I know I'm not gonna love it. But make the song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one thing I have wanted to know, I did want to know as a thing, the Shinobi video, the water scene, how was that created? Like that was some erotic, like sexy shit, like the water coming down glistening, it was like some blue, uh, red, pink shit. Like, it was just lights and fucking a bucket of water and some Someone was ladder. like literally pouring water? On a ladder, like... <gasps> Making this, I don't know how he made it sprout, but like made it look like he tried. It didn't really look like. It did. Like it yeah. almost, it looked like a, it did. I wouldn't have believed it was a bucket man at yeah, the top. Yeah, yeah, bucket man standing top of the ladder, throwing a water down. Okay, well. I so you know you do you do things when you don't have Hollywood budgets. Got to You really made that look like a nice Hollywood scene. Like y'all really, I would, I thought it was like maybe in a special room where Mills. water just that's pours Mills. down yeah, from the top of the man. ceiling because I wanted to know where this was. It was that, that's, that was at Catwalk Studios. Uh, shout out to Minister Mills. He got my Shinobi video, my Namaste video, my Witcher video, how to put the text for Raheem. Um, 
he's not uh, uh, 44, just you know, like that video from when he got to But he's um, so on my new video, Big Love. Like, that's why like, one of my main guys. I met him and he told me he was gonna fuck with me and he ain't never changed me. A lot of people changed me and he ain't never changed me. And I can always come to him the same way I did from day one. That's like, hey, bro, I call him dad, but then like he called it. But my father passed away, but I was like, he's like my dad, my new dad. Like, nah, man, I'm like a big brother, like, no. <laughs> like, but he act like a father, like, he take these really look out for me. So, I encourage y'all to uh, check out Catwalk Studios, because it's an auditorium space. It's, it's a fucking, like, all that shit, man. He's a good person. He these videos. That's the main thing that you can The best video. Y'all want a video on site, all that shit. Uh, he everywhere. And that's the other tip, Mr. Mills. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Mills on Instagram, he'll come for a video. That's how I'm going to go. He did all my favorites.